Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. This lab guide is on how to add custom security attribute definitions in Microsoft Andra ID with Microsoft Andra Admin Center. Custom security attributes in Microsoft Andra ID are business specific attributes that you can define and assign to Microsoft Andra ID objects. These attributes can be used to store information, categorize objects, or enforce fine-grained access control over specific Azure resources. To add or deactivate custom security attributes definitions, you must have Microsoft Entra ID, P1 or P2 license, and attribute definition administrator role. Click on Go to Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Users and select All Users. Click on Admin Account. Under Manage, click on Assign Roles. Confirm that you have assigned Attribute Definition Administrator role to your administrator. To add Custom Security Attribute Definitions, click on Protection. Under Protection, click on Custom Security Attributes. An attribute set is a collection of related attributes. All custom security attributes must be part of an attribute set. Attribute sets cannot be renamed or deleted. If you do not have required permissions, then you won't have the option to add attribute set. Click Add Attribute Set to add a new attribute set. An attribute set name can be 32 characters with no species or special characters. Once you have specified a name, you cannot rename it. Enter a name, description, and maximum number of attributes. Once you specify all the required information, click on Add. The new attribute set appears in the list of attribute sets. Click on Existing Attribute Set to add a custom security attribute definition. Click Add Attribute to add a new custom security attribute to the attribute set. In the Attribute Name box, enter a custom security attribute name. In the Description box, enter an optional description. From the Data Type list, Select the data type for the custom security attribute. You have three options to choose for a data type, boolean, integer, or string. In this example, I'll go with string. For allow multiple values to be assigned, select yes or no. Select yes to allow multiple values to be assigned to this custom security attribute. Select no to only allow a single value to be assigned to this custom security attribute. For only allow predefined values to be assigned, select yes or no. Select yes to require that this custom security attribute be assigned values from the predefined values list. Select no to allow this custom security attribute to be assigned user-defined values or potentially predefined values. Click Add to add predefined values. An active value is available for assignment to objects. A value that is not active is defined but not yet available for assignment. Type a value for this predefined value. Once you define a value, click on Add. Again, click Add value to add second predefined value. Again, click on Add. So I have added two predefined values for this custom security attribute, mobile app developer and full stack web developer. When finished, click Save. The new custom security attribute appears in the list of custom security attributes. Click on Context menu. If required, 
you can later add it some of the properties of custom security attribute definition some properties are immutable and cannot be changed if required you can deactivate any of your existing attribute once you add a custom security attribute definition you can't delete it however you can deactivate a custom security attribute definition in this lab you have learned the steps on how to add custom security attribute definition in microsoft entra id that's all for this lab guide stay tuned for more videos like this see you all in the next lab guide